Like a wrecking ball breaking down my walls Feeling all exposed, showing all my flaws Could you be the love that I've been yearning for? The one they talk about but never seen before What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel Today we are doing a pick a card mm. You know, it's been a minute since I did one of these, but I am being called to do one, so here I am. If you guys are new here, hey, what's up? Welcome, my name is Magica, and if you are returning, what's popping, y'all? I appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate you guys coming back. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, also, happy Mother's Day to all of my mothers out there, and if you happen to be a single father watching this, happy mother's day i mean if you playing both roles then i mean shit it's your day too you feel me anyways um so today's pick a card is how are men viewing you okay and as usual we have two piles for you to pick from pile one you will be this blue lighter and pile two you are the karmics mm -hmm. So go ahead and take a minute to choose which one you're most drawn to, and we'll go ahead and get started. Which one do you want to pick? If you chose pile one, you are the blue lighter. Mm. What? Alrighty. Calling all my ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and archangels, all for my highest good and highest light. Please provide me the most clearest, most accurate, and most concise messages for my pile one when it comes to how are men currently viewing them. Alrighty. So I'm going to use tarot and some oracles, and I will pull channel messages as well. So let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see how our man currently viewing my power okay some of y'all <laughs> um y'all are somebody's fine ass baby mama okay let's just start there <laughs> all right that's funny all right how are people viewing my power one Oh, I'm sorry, the men view my power one. Okay, so first of all, they see you as somebody who allows karma to um, spin a block. You are not someone who is revengeful. You're not, um, you're not someone who needs to retaliate or anything like that, okay? You're the one to allow karma to take its, um, its course, especially if they did something to harm you, okay, in the first place. They also see you as someone who gets to the bag, okay? You are not waiting, for, um, you're not waiting um, for opportunities to fall in your lap. You're not one to look for handouts. You're not one to get into relationships and think that you have some entitlement over somebody else's finances. You get to your own shit, okay? Okay, period. They see you as someone who works very hard for what they have, for what you have, sorry. Okay, I love that. All right, tell me more about how men view my power one, Holy Spirit. How are men viewing my power one? Okay, so they don't, they definitely think that you're not a, um, you're not lazy. Okay, how are men viewing my power one, Holy Spirit? Dang, hold on. How are men viewing my power one? Okay, so I feel like um, you don't let anything stop you, okay? At one point in time, they could have seen you um, as shy, or you are shy. Uh, men can see you as um, someone who's shy, someone who hides out a lot. They can see you as um, maybe a hermit, someone who doesn't like too much attention is what I'm really getting. Yeah. But you get it anyways. <laughs> you get it anyways. 
Interesting. Tell me more. They are. I'm hearing know it all. I'm sorry. Some men, men could kind of view you as a know it all or something like that, or or someone that they can't hide from. I should say that. Um, men see you as someone who um, sees right through them, or they see you as someone um, that they can't lie to. You're someone who will catch somebody in a lie, or like you find out things very easily. They can't keep any secrets from you. So if they try to play you or something like that, they, they see you as someone that they can't get over on. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. All right, Holy Spirit. So, ex look, chess, not checkers. I can, they, look, stop playing. They see you as someone that they, look, baby, if they start with the game, Guess who's going to be um, checkmating somebody? You are, okay? I also feel like they see you as someone who is very smart, okay? Someone who, someone who knows to play their cards right. Someone who knows where they're going in life. For others of you, you could also play chess too, okay? They see you as, a, somebody sees you as someone who um, has a good head on their shoulder. You're a good thinker or like you make the right choices or something like that. Um, yeah. I also feel like uh, men see you as someone who does not jump to conclusions. You gather all of your facts and stuff, right? Um, your facts and stuff before you jump to conclusions. All right. How else does men view my power one, Holy Spirit? How does men view my power one? How does men view my power one? That's too many. How does men view my power one, Holy Spirit? How does men view my power one? Okay. How does men view my power one? They see you as someone who knows to pick their battles. Okay. Men also see you as someone that they can't just pull up on, okay? Uh, I'm hearing that line by Lotto. Do I look like a pull-up bitch? <laughs> like, ah, wait, ah. Stop, I'm sorry. Yeah. Ah, that's burnt out. Yeah, okay, so like, you, do I look like a pull-up bitch? Like, what was that? Okay, yeah, all right. Um, okay, what else? How else is man viewing my power in Holy Spirit? They see you as someone who's not really with the shenanigans when it comes to like friends with benefit situations or stuff like that. Okay. Somebody could have curly hair. You could wear a fro or something like that. Men could see you as someone that possibly has not um, fully recovered from somebody or something like that. Or wanting to put in the work with someone. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys are in a relationship. Okay. They see how much you care for your um your person. They they see you as someone who um if you guys are single, they see you as someone that they can actually build with. Okay, see you as someone who um they can let loose with as well. It's like you go get their bag. But you're also like, you know, want to have fun and just like let loose and, um, you know, just put your hair down and stuff like that. Okay, period. That's very attractive to them. 
it's like you have you have that masculine side and then you have that feminine side of you like you know how to balance them out they also like the fact that you don't argue you don't like to you don't go back and forth you're not you know you're again is you're not one of those vindictive um type women or anything like that you don't really have time for the bullshit <laughs> you know if you care about something you state what you care about you open your mouth and then you, it is what it is. You either work it out and come to a solution or you don't. Like, you're not one to get out of character. Okay. okay. Men could also view you as someone who's not into a lot of people. Okay. Um. You, you don't allow too many people around your space. Okay. How are men viewing my power one Holy Spirit? How are men viewing my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Um, men are viewing you as someone who is protected. Okay. Especially from anybody that's... And look, look, look. Snake in a can. Anybody that be trying... And look! If... Bruh. Put it right over. <laughs> they feel like you're protected. Like, anybody that try to do you wrong in some type of way, like, I feel like nobody can get over on you whatsoever. Hmm. Period. Okay. Who do you probably tell all those though? If we come back out, I'll, I'll keep it. But that's just, you know. Okay. They also see, see you as someone who they want to protect. Okay? Want to take care of. Want to um, wine and dine. Be in a relationship with. Okay? Men see you as a, um, a great romantic partner. Again, um, when it comes to people trying to get you in, like, friends with benefit situations or fly-by-night um, uh, situationships or anything like that, you know how to play your cards when people try to get you in those type of situations. You're like, nah. <laughs> like, you, you, you can see it coming from a mile away. Like, it's not hard for you to see what somebody really wants. Men could feel connected to you in some type of way. I feel like you make men feel like they're your soulmate or you're you're meant for them or they're the or you're the one. Like <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Not y'all having the effect. Stop. Okay. You also make men feel like um, that they've known you before or it's just like this comfortable, um, homey type um, energy that you you portray or you exude. All right, how is this man view my power one? How is this man view my power one, Holy Spirit? Just get, whoa, that's too many spiritual baths came out though. How else are men using my power one Holy Spirit? They can see you as someone who um <laughs> who's never going back to somebody. Okay. If y'all had an ex that y'all kept going back to that's a wrap that will never happen again they see as somebody who has finally let go of a relationship or something like that yeah especially those of you who have um 
like if you're with your baby daddy or something like that because i've just seen like the baby daddy card okay how else is my pile one being viewed by men right now sun is here how are men viewing my pile one right now Okay, they definitely see you as someone, look, you ain't broke out here in these streets now. They definitely don't see you as that. They see you as someone who, uh, maybe you take care, of, maybe you have a son. Some of y'all can have kids. Like I said, I did see the baby daddy card. Um, so y'all can have kids with this person. They can feel like um, whoever it was that you were dealing with, they feel like you were dealing with somebody who is very immature. <laughs> okay. I also see like men view you as someone that they would like to start a family with. They can see you as somebody who is focused on their son and their bag, but the family, look, abundant union. They see you as somebody that they will want to start a family with for sure. I also feel like men see you as someone who may have had a hard time in relationships. Okay, because um, um, some of y'all could have been um, victims of friends with benefits, situ uh, friends with benefits situations and situationships and and flings and shit like that. But I feel like they view you as somebody who has got out of that. You're you've gotten rid of immature people or emotionally immature people, emotionally unavailable people. Okay, yeah. And now you could be in this abundant union or they see you as somebody who's going to end in end up in an abundant union due to you um, being smart when it comes to um, relationships and who you deal with and who you allow in your energy. Okay, period. But I feel like um, in the meantime, they see you as somebody who is really focused on the bag and not really focused on love. Okay, give me one more card from here, Holy Spirit, and how men are viewing my pylons. How are men viewing my power one? How are men viewing my power one? Different. 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 <laughs> Okay, they view you as somebody who is just very different with how you move in life, who you are as a person. Like you're different than other people that they have, other women that they have have surrounded themselves around or um, have viewed women to be. You come off very different. You also come off as um, men are viewing you as somebody just not focused on anything going on around them. Like, I feel like you're just really focused on your pockets. That's what it really gives. I'm not even going to sit here in front with this decline in reverse. Like, they can view you as somebody who had some type of influx in finances or something like that. They can view you as somebody who's very humble about it as well. They can also view you as somebody who um, they feel like sometimes they don't have a peek in on what's going on in your life. You can be kind of quiet, okay? You can come off kind of mysterious, not one who is really loud about your moves or anything like that. They find you as somebody who where they can't really keep up with what you got going on, but they know that you're making money. <laughs> <laughs> they know that they know that you're not out here broke they know that you're out here working hard they just don't they don't know anything else though they feel like they can't figure anything else about you besides you get to the bag i feel like you stop putting yourself out there a lot okay so I feel like this is the energy now. They can't really figure you out right now. They don't know what you got going on. They don't know. I also feel like they don't know who you're with, if you're with anybody. 
<laughs> this is crazy. I'm sorry. I'm picking up a lot right now. Yeah. Okay. How are how else are men doing my um power? They're not gonna make this too long. How else is uh, men doing my power? One? How else are men doing my power? One? How else is men doing my power? One? Look, sweet and kind. For some of y'all, they view you as somebody who does not have kids. Okay. For some of y'all, they can view you as avoidant. <laughs> okay, tell me more. How else are my men viewing genuine? They see you as genuine. Good sense of humor as well. Let's get one more Holy Spirit. How are men doing my power one? Okay, so they feel like you're sweet. You're a black woman. Okay. So some of y'all may be um, black women um, viewing me. What's popping? Don't have to be, you know, just take what resonates and leave the rest. But they see you as very genuine. You're sweet and kind. Some of y'all may not have any kids whatsoever. They feel like you are avoiding having more kids. For those of you who do have kids, okay? <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, let me get a couple more. How are men viewing my viewers? I mean, my power one, sorry. How are men viewing my power ones? Something about a birthday. Okay. So you may have just had a birthday. Codependent is here. So they can view you holding on to something. Let's see, codependent on something. I'm not sure what. But how are men viewing my power one? And you make me feel complete. Your physical appearance is 200% my type. Okay. So men view you as somebody who they would like to cling on. Like, okay, they will want to be around you a lot. Um, they feel like you, you will make them feel complete in some type of way. They definitely feel like um, you're... Your physical appearance is 200% their type. So the, I don't care how you look, baby. If you chose power one, baby, you could be uh, skinny, slim, thick, uh, curvy, BBW. Um, you could be pear-shaped. You could be straight up and down. You could be tall, short. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. If you chose power one, baby, you are 200%. Men type, okay, period. Ah, love that for you, love that, love that. Uh, I'm not sure what this birthday is giving. I don't know. Mm -mm. I'm hearing every day is like my birthday. <laughs> I don't know what the... Look, maybe you just had a birthday. You could have just had a birthday or something like that. But, yeah. Mm, someone to celebrate with. Someone that they would love to spend their birthday with or just, you don't know. Look, take it where it resonates, okay? But power one. Uh, do I want to get something else for you? Yeah, let me get two more cards and then we'll go ahead and go to power two. All right, Holy Spirit, give me two more cards. And look, not the, fa the family card. The family card. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all are, look... Look, some of y'all, they also feel you as somebody who tells the truth. You you ain't got no problems with telling the truth, speaking your truth, or anything like that, okay? Or calling some shit out, power one. You ain't got no issues with that. Men view you as somebody who will call some shit out. Okay. Give me one more. Well, give me two. Two on how my, uh, two more cards on how men are viewing my power one soulmate bruh look <laughs> didn't i tell y'all 
Y'all make these men feel like you the one. It's giving you the whole pack. I'm your whole package. You the whole package. What is that? Skillet baby and uh and um uh, uh flow millie. Yeah. You the whole package. Period. Give me one more on how men view my power one. We're gonna end this out. Give me one more on how men view my power one. Addiction. My addiction. I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. Period. Ah! They feel like, look, it's just something about you. You make these men feel down bad for you, okay? Um, yeah, they can also view you as somebody who smoked for some of y'all who, you know, do a little, little, little lie because they smoking in this picture. So that's standing out to me. So, um, yeah. But um, there's that codependence and that addiction and the soulmate. You make me feel complete. Look, 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 look. I don't know what y'all out there doing with the music at the bottom of that. They can view you as somebody who loves music, do music. You can write music, um, play the guitar. I don't know. There's something definitely here about music. Maybe some of y'all can sing because I'm looking at harmony and melodic. Um, melodic. Is it melodic? It's probably melodic. But anyways, yeah. They're addicted to you. They feel, I don't know, something about your energy is very alluring, okay? And you make just, you just make people feel like, yeah, that's the one right there. That, that, could, that person right there can complete me. Anyways, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave it right there, pile one. If this resonated for you in any type of way, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this message with someone you may feel needs to hear it. Okay, continue to help your girl get to 5,000 subscribers. And if you are going over to Pile 2, I'll see you there. And if this is where you fall off, then I'll just see you next time. All right, all right, Pile 1, sorry about the call you collected. This ain't a collective. This ain't a collective. But all right, Pile 1, until next time. Not, I'm doing, I'm about to do pile two. Okay. When I'm done, you'll be able to watch TV. Okay. Get out, please. Can you make me this food? Um, Can you make me this food? Not right now. Please go eat an orange until I'm done. Let me just get through these. When, is this done? when I'm done with pile two. If you chose pile two, you are the Carmix. All right, let me go ahead and put a little more on. Some of y'all can have luscious lips. <laughs> okay, cause Carmix, we have the lips feeling real, real good. Okay, nice and shiny and juicy. Okay, so some of y'all can have very attractive uh, lips. I forgot to get into tarot for pile one. But shit, it is what it is. I'm still gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all work or two, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna use. I don't know if I'm used to it. But anyway, let's just go ahead and dive into it. All right, pile two. I see not stalker alert popping right out. Oh, pile two. Oh, pal two. The man is stalking. Okay. All right, pal, pal two. Let's see what's going on. All right, Holy Spirit. Call my ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and archangels. Off of my highest good and highest light. Please provide me the most clearest, most accurate, most precise messages for my pal two when it comes to how are men viewing them. Hmm? 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 Let's find out. How are men viewing my pile too, Holy Spirit? Let me know, let me know. How are men viewing my pile too? How are men viewing my pile too, Holy Spirit? That's too many. How are 
my man, you and my power too. You think too much. Okay, so they can feel like um, you're in your head a lot about things. Okay. They can feel like you're an overthinker. You're someone who's going to check and recheck and recheck and recheck, okay? I don't know what that means for y'all, but yeah. <laughs> All right, Paul Two. How are men viewing my Paul Two? Okay. Abundance, union, and pull up on me. Anything. Okay, Paul One got this... Uh, this reading, to, I mean, these cards too. Okay. <laughs> I know you fucking lie at the bottom. Yeah, I don't care. That shit's for the birds. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so. When it comes to relationships, I feel like men know that you want a relationship. They see you as someone who... Um, would be beneficial in a relationship. They see you as someone who could want to, um, I don't know, maybe you kind of fantasize uh, about relationships and stuff like that. I um, also feel like Pile 2, um, I got this energy from Pile 1. Some of you guys could have been in the energy at one point in time where um, you end up in fling situationships friends with benefit situationships and i feel like you're now in that energy where you're if anybody dare step to you with that type of energy you cut them straight off like you'll cut them straight off it's like men know not to step to you unless they're coming through with an actual relationship if they're coming with um um with dating with a purpose basically they know not to stop a step to you unless they're coming to date you with a purpose because when it comes to approaching you on some type of friends with benefits casual situationships or anything like that you'll be clear to cut that shit off so they, they definitely see you as somebody who is not dealing with that they see you as somebody who will um i don't know like you will collect data <laughs> you will be in observe mode trying to figure out what somebody want with you like when they they see you as somebody who is on guard when they approach you because you may feel like they're on that friends with benefits type of situation and you're not on that okay so they see you as somebody who they cannot play with <laughs> they see you as somebody who you will vet out before giving up anything okay you're hmm, hmm, hmm. play with it <laughs> all right power two oh no play with it all right so some of y'all from power one what's up y'all <laughs> all right tell me more on how men are viewing my power to holy spirit <clears throat> how are men be on my pile too. Oh shoot. Okay, some of y'all pile two. Some of y'all could be celibate. Cause I just seen the Yoni in reverse. Again, they see you as somebody who hey, that's why I wanted to call collectives so bad. This is why I do collectives. Because the energy be the same sometimes. Look, snake, um, snake in the camp at the bottom of the deck was shush in reverse. Y'all look, if anybody come and try to play y'all. It, it just don't work. You're like you see people coming from a mile away, and if somebody did snake you, you're easy to find out who did it. They also see you as somebody who has gotten out of a toxic relationship. Okay, they see you as somebody who may have found something out, um, may have found out um, somebody you were dealing with was a snake. Okay, they deceived you in some type of way. Okay, they see you as they see you as people. Um, people, men see you as somebody who has been hurt and deceived in relationships. 
people that you didn't do nothing but care um care for yeah how are men doing my pile See? yeah some of y'all got i'll hate to say that some of y'all got cheated on and it could have got around or something like that men view you as somebody who has been cheated on okay Are men viewing my power? Too? You know better now, though. That's what it's giving. Like, you know better now. You know what to look for. Um, how are men viewing my power, too, Holy Spirit? Okay. Chess and the checkers. Look, y'all are getting the same cards as Pile 2. I mean, as Pile 1. Y'all are too smart. Too smart. Too smart. All right. How are men viewing my pile too, Holy Spirit? How are men viewing my pile too? Someone who just don't really give a fuck. <laughs> they see you as someone who does not care um, about shit that don't got nothing to do with you. Okay, um, they see you as somebody who is working hard and focused on whatever it is that you got going on. Um, they see you as somebody who does not care for relationships, they, that you do not care for friends with benefit situations. You do not care for anybody that's um, um, trying to do any type of snake stuff. I feel like you are... You're in this energy where you're just playing your cards right and you're staying away from people who is trying to deceive you on any type of level, whether it's friendships, um, partnerships, uh, uh, colleagues, whatever, okay? Whatever. Hmm. They see you as somebody who is staying positive throughout the midst of all of this. Okay. How is her man doing my power talk? Oh, sorry, they view you on my pile too. They view you as somebody. Maybe you, um, there's things that are getting exposed around you, okay? And they view you as somebody. If whatever it is that's got exposed around you, you're just in an energy like I don't give a fuck. Oh well, it happened. It happened. I'm gonna go ahead and move on with my life. I know who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. <laughs> that's what it's really giving power to. They see you as somebody, men see you as somebody who is um, getting rid of anybody who is abusing you in any type of way. Whether that's abusing your kindness uh, or whatever, taking your kindness for weakness, all types of shit. Like, okay, period. How else are men viewing my pile too? Yeah. How else are men viewing my pile too? Yeah, they view you as somebody who ain't taking that shit. Okay. Stress. I'm sorry, it says tension. Look, Yoni reverse. Y'all ain't look, they view you as somebody who got that thing on lockdown. Okay. They view you as somebody who ain't giving that cootie cat up. Okay. <laughs> okay, they are not look. They ain't mm -hmm. You ain't dealing with it. They could men could feel like that you're stressed out because you're not giving up your cootie cat. <laughs> That's funny. They can feel like you kind of uptight a little bit, pal, too. They can feel like you a little stressed out a little bit because you ain't getting none, okay? But that ain't even the case. They can see you as somebody who like um it's this energy, like, if you're not into somebody, if you're not romantically into somebody, if you don't, if, look, if you don't really have a bond with nobody, you're not about to, you don't give your cat up to anybody. They see that? Okay. Men can see it as very hard to get close to you. They can make it, they can feel like it's very hard to, like, again, get over on you. Because I feel like men approach you for your kitty cat, pal, too. Like, I don't know. You can be very, very attractive or something. But it's something about here about not giving up that kitty cat. <laughs> like, not giving it up. 
period. Because I feel like it's your intuition that be on point. Again, it's this energy of you can see through anybody, any man, any man trying to come towards you on that bull, you can see right through them. You can see exactly what they want from you. And I feel like that stresses them out because they can't get over on you. You don't do that. Uh, um, that friends will benefit shit. It's it's power one is carrying over to power two, for sure, for sure. And that uh, you don't care how they feel about it either. You'll let them know um, that that ain't what it is over here, homeboy. Like I'm not doing that. That's not who I am. You'll let it, you'll let somebody know off rip. I'm celibate. This is what it is. Da 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 da. And for some of y'all, it don't even have to you be celibate. Is you like I'm not giving up? Mm 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 mm. No. If we not in a relationship, that mm, then baby. I don't know what to tell you. Like you're not no. You're just not you're not just giving your body up to anybody. Okay? And I feel like that stresses them out. They also men see you as somebody who is picky as well. <laughs> they on your ass. <laughs> also, they on your ass. It is because you're highly attracted. Did I tell y'all? It you look highly attractive. To the point that you make people feel like, look, she the one. He, look, mm, look. Mm. <sighs> Can, is there any other energy, Holy Spirit? Any other energy? Because I feel like Pile 1 is carrying over to Pile 2. It feels like a continuation. <laughs> any other energy, Holy Spirit? How are men viewing my Pile of... Two. How are men viewing my pile too? I'm hearing I'm looking for the uh, I, I look up at the They can see you as somebody who got a lot of options. Not stalker. And lituation lituation. Okay. Stalker is in reverse though, so yeah. They want to know what you're doing, where you turning up at, where you at, like, what you doing. Look, gossip at the bottom of the deck. They want to talk to you. They want to be all up in your business and everything. You got um, men that um, see you as somebody they can hang out with and have a good time with and stuff like that. They can see you as somebody that they can drink with. Um, I'm here to hang with the best of them. So some, maybe some of you guys are, uh, you ain't no lightweight, okay? Y'all can like to drink Hennessy for some of y'all. Um, but they see you as somebody who's a fun time, who can turn up, let loose, you know? Someone they can key, key, key with, enjoy, have good conversations with, okay? Period. I also feel like men feel like um, they can't figure out, like, it's this thing, they want to know, they, 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 oh, Lord, um, mm -hmm, you come off like, um, men feel like they can't really find nothing on you, like, You know how some men be trying to do their research and stuff like that so they can figure out how to mirror that perfect person or something like that. It's like they can't figure that part out. Like, you leave no context clues. Like, you don't leave any clues or anything like that. So nobody can necessarily try to um, appear to be your perfect person because you don't leave any context clues or anything or what comes off as your perfect person or anything like that. And I feel like that stresses them out because somebody be thinking that, oh, well, if I can just figure out who what their ideal person is, their ideal man is, then I can just work it to my favor and get what I want and bounce. But that shit don't work. <laughs> it don't work. 
So men having to find men find themselves having to actually prove themselves if they want to fuck with you. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Give me one more card, Holy Spirit, on how uh men are viewing my pile too. How are men viewing my pile too? Somebody they want to get that thing to. <laughs> Somebody want to get that thing to. Also, if you did do anything with these men, they see you as somebody who they feel like you may have put a spell on them or something like that because they feel like your stuff is, ooh, we. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. For, I feel like some of these men, they still be watching you. Okay, you may not know it. But I feel like while you are moving on with your life and stuff like that, you still got men that are holding on to you. That's crazy because they, I don't know, it's something that you did. And that thing, thing, okay, it's something that you did, baby. Um, They also see you as somebody who can move on quickly. Okay, especially if it's some negativity going on. Okay, they see you as somebody who is quickly to move on from the negativity, period. Also, men, for those of you who are um, in the sp spiritual community or open about um, your spirituality and stuff like that, they see you as somebody who be uh, making shit happen for them. I mean, for yourself when it comes to if you're somebody who do do spell work or root work or something like that. Um, they see you as somebody who is witchy. <laughs> okay. I mean, you don't have to do spell work or, or um, root work or anything like that. But if you are out there with your spirituality, they see you as somebody who is witchy. Okay. Um, let's get a couple more and I'll pull some, uh, some channel messages. How else are men viewing my how to... How else are men viewing my power too? How are men viewing my power too? The family card. Bro, look, I that was the same card for pile one. Look, I look, I don't know what y'all did to these men, but they see you as somebody who they can start a family with, who they can build with. Um, someone they just look, they want to have kids with. This is crazy. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to tell y'all. <laughs> Give me one more card on how men are viewing my pile to social media. They're watching you on social media. Somehow. Okay. They can see you as someone who is active on social media or something like that. Give me one more card on how men are viewing um, my power to proposal. I, I, I don't look. Look. I, they see you as somebody who they want to offer their cup to. They see you as somebody who they would love to be in a relationship with. Okay. <laughs> they, they just see you as a wish come true for some of them. Like, this is... Again, it's this energy of you. I put a spell on you. People don't know why they feel this way towards you. But mm, it's your aura. It's your energy. Oh, it's to tell them. I also feel like men feel like they can't get you out of their head. They see, they, uh, men view you as somebody of once they start talking to you and dealing with you, like it's, it's hard to get you out of their mind and stuff like that. They want to know a lot about you. Okay. I also feel like men, um, the men do that do be having, um, like pure intentions. They really do be wanting to get to know you. These are men who don't even want to, they don't see you as just something to, to lay on or to, uh, to get a nut with, okay? They see you as somebody that who they actually want to build with and stuff like that. They also feel like that you, um, you're someone who can call out, um, toxic people in their life or something like that. 
okay? You're you're one to tell them, hey, that person ain't for you. You need to watch out for this person. Yeah, you reveal you reveal things to them. Okay, how else does uh, man view my power to? How else does man view my power to? Religious upbringing, okay? So you can have some type of religious upbringing, background. They can see you as somebody who was um, had that and went spiritual or something like that. How else? What else? How else do they see my power too? How else does men view my power too? Secretly in love, <laughs> whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. Period. Look, y'all got stalkers. Y'all got secret admirers. This is crazy. They see you as somebody who gets whatever it is that they want. They see you as somebody who they will give you whatever you want and everything, okay? Mm, 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 mm. Also, for some of y'all, this is only going to resonate for a few, a handful of you. I feel like men view you as somebody who has a relationship behind the scene, okay? They feel like you could be secretly in love with somebody else, secretly got somebody, okay? <laughs> I, it's, it's this energy they feel like, damn, who who they got behind the scenes, you know? Who who was, who was Who handling that? Like, they want to know. Let's get one more. <laughs> Men see you as somebody who's going to have that perfect family, that, that you're going to get that love that you want and everything. Jesus Christ. College is here. They can see you as somebody who's very smart, educated. Again, that chess versus checkers. One more. Karmic soulmate and physical death. Remember I told y'all they saw you as somebody who ended out like um, toxic relationships? Or somebody that you were connected with, yeah. They see you as very smart as um um for finally getting over that, okay? Because like I did, like I said earlier, um, somebody's throat chakra is like crazy right now. But like I said um earlier, y'all could have had somebody that y'all kept going back to, and they feel like that you finally broke that cycle. I think that was pile two. I said that in. I'm sorry, pile one. I said that on. But yes, yeah, coming up in here, they can see you as somebody who's um, got rid of karmic um, soulmates, uh, partnerships, toxic partnerships that went for you and stuff like that. Whether it's uh, friendships, colleagues, coworkers, family, whatever the case may be. But yeah, okay. They could also see you as somebody who is on their spiritual journey, okay? You could have, have awakened, went through some type of dark night of the soul. You could have turned around some type of leaf, some uh, turned over a new leaf is what I'm hearing. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. Period. All right, Pazu. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. If this reading resonated with you in any type of way, wait, it is kind of early, huh? Let me get a couple more. Let me get a couple more. I ain't going to do y'all like that. Let me get a couple more. Uh, I feel like pile two, y'all lucky straight to the point. Oh, I didn't get no, um, no oracles, no, um, channel oracles for y'all from this deck. So that's what I'm like. Wait, that was kind of short. All right. How else is Pile uh, 2 being viewed by men? How else are men doing Pile 2? How else, how else are men doing my Pile 2? How are men doing my Pile 2? Holy shit. Baby daddy. They want to be your... Look, look. They want to give you kids. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no way to. They want to impregnate you. They want you to have the kids. Look, look. <sighs> How are men viewing my pile to Holy Spirit? But a lot though. Some of y'all may have like a, a skin condition or something like that. How are men viewing my pile to? How are men viewing my pile to? Sweet and kind that came out for power one. How are men doing my power two? Okay. 
humpo at the bottom of the deck. Um, brother is here. So I feel like men view you as somebody who, someone who they want to protect. Okay, what the, when I'm seeing this brother card, it's giving my brother's keeper. Um, so, and I also feel like they see you as somebody who they, um, want to have genuine love to give to. Um, they see you as somebody who is someone who provides genuine love or, you know, um, but they see you as, it's definitely even my brother's keeper with this, um, this brother card. Okay. They see you as somebody who they want to actually protect and, um, yeah. Okay. Period. They also see you as somebody who they can bring around their family. They feel like their family members will love you. Okay. Y'all have a lot of family cards here. A buddy union, family proposal, and stuff like that. But it definitely gives this energy of you're my brother's keeper. There's somebody, they view you as somebody who they want to protect. For sure. All right, Pile 2, we're going to go ahead and leave it right there. If this message resonated with you in any type of way, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this message with someone you feel may need to hear it. Um, continue to help your girl get to 5,000 subscribers. Once I get there, I will be giving away two free readings. And until next time, my loves, bye.